Ali Batsi, 43, once one of Mark Buttle's closest associates and his right-hand man, was arrested by detectives from the NSW criminal group squad. Batsi has been charged as part of ongoing serious crime prevention order compliance operations across Sydney. In September 2021, the Supreme Court of NSW issued Batsi with a serious crime prevention order, following an application by the State Crime Command's Criminal Group Squad. Police then launched legal proceedings to impose these orders on Batsi and two other alleged senior bikies, Tarek Sahed and Mohammed Mikhijazi. Under the restrictions on his activities, Botsi was only permitted to have one email account and be allowed to use 18 communication platforms including Wicker, ProtonMail, Telegram and WhatsApp. Botsi would need to inform police of where he lives, what kind of car he drives and even what phones and computers he uses. He was not allowed to contact Zahed, Hijazi or anyone he knows to be a Comanchero member and cannot wear bikey colors or use any insignia. He can keep a Harley Davidson he owns and can use social media platform Instagram but cannot post images of bikey insignia or paraphernalia. Supreme Court imposed the serious crime prevention order for nine months from September 2021. Police now say he breached conditions of the order. Botsi was charged with three counts of contravene serious crime prevention order and larceny. Police say that Botsi stole items from a storage center at Ultimo, in January this year. He used a fictitious name while using the facility, and stole a hand trolley worth $990. He did not provide accurate personal identification information to authorities in contravention of the SCPO. Addressing the media, Detective Superintendent Grant Taylor said, the criminal group squad apply for serious crime prevention orders very selectively to ensure the best protection of the public. These orders are in place for a reason and anyone who has such an order placed against them can be sure that if they do not take them seriously, they will end up on the wrong side of the prison wall. The criminal group squad is currently drafting several serious crime prevention orders against selected persons, who we believe require such an order to prevent, restrict and disrupt their involvement in serious crime related activities. Batsi was charged with three counts of contravene serious crime prevention order and larceny. He has been refused bail to appear in central local court.